Hi, my name is Rob Montgomery, and at the Smart Film School and in our training workshops worldwide, we like to show simple solutions that can help people take better pictures, whether it's for mobile journalism or their first uh, documentary films or just, you know, home movies. So here's just another variation. This is a, a nice simple rig with the shoulder pod S1, a little steel uh, attachment handle that I've got from another piece of filmmaking equipment. What's beautiful here is that you always have this option with the standard tripod screw to experiment with different um, attachments that you can use. Once you've got your phone securely attached to something, well, it's no big deal to attach to a tripod or a grip or a mini tripod uh, or something else. And of course, adding a microphone in, here's the Rode VideoMic Me. It's really great. It just plugs right into the headphone jack there uh, with the mic. And then this rubber clamp um, just secures it to your phone. So if you wanted to do a selfie mode, you just flip it around. And yeah, now you can do a selfie mode. So it's great for very simple um, work. When you want to move up to the next level, you're going to want to move into a world of stabilized video. A stabilized video is much smoother. Even with this, um, your hand is going to jitter after a few moments. So, you know, it's really good to um, start with something small like that and then think about your next purchase. Think about the next level of production values you can get. Something that's really popular with a lot of television uh, reporters that I work with is this Osmo Mobile. And you see, I'm going to take it off of its base. Um, and what it does is it wraps around your phone. And look, I'm moving it here, and the phone stays stable. It's because it's got gyroscopes here that are spinning to keep the phone stabilized. Even if my hand moves as I'm doing an interview, um, the resulting video would be really smooth and stable looking, almost as if it were on a tripod. Or actually what it looks like is if you had a really expensive steady cam operator um, using the, the camera instead of you. And so this is about 339 euros. Um, I've seen different prices on the internet. You can find deals from time to time. Be sure that if you're going to get the DJI Osmo Mobile, that you also get this universal holder. Now, this is about 28 euros uh, extra. And what it does is it screws into the side. Very solid, good metal feel here. And you've got two cold shoes. And those cold shoes are really important for when you want to attach mics or lights. In this case, I've got my Osmo Mobile in basically TV reporter mode, video reporter mode. I'm able to walk through a scene and narrate, and the sound will come into the back microphone. I'm able to talk to people at the scene, and the sound will come in through the front microphone. Both signals come up into the phone into this little uh, splitter and uh, or multiplexer, if you will. And it doesn't add that much weight. It doesn't throw the Osmo Mobile off of its uh, balance. Um, so you can still calibrate it with an, even with an iPhone 6S uh, Plus here. And, uh, yeah, I think it's really interesting to try using a system like this. We're getting it for our students at the, the journalism schools that I teach at. Um, and I'm recommending that if you've got some kind of sandbox money, uh, have stuff like this for your kids uh, to be able to check out or your reporters. Because most, most of the time you might be fine with something simple like this. But there are times when you know you're going to go out or you've got a team that's going out and going to be doing a lot of lives. Yeah, Facebook Live, Twitter Live, whatever live, Snapchat-y live. I don't know. Probably not Snapchat because that's vertical. But listen, this gets you great results every time. And because the gimbal is just stabilizing the device, you can use whatever video camera app you want back here, even if that app is Facebook or Twitter or Filmic Pro or you know Movie Pro, some of the preferred apps that I like for, for teaching iPhone filmmaking and Android filmmaking. Now listen, um, I'm going to put this back on the base because you may be wondering, that's just one way to uh, configure a, an Osmo mobile. Thank you.